Hello everyone, thanks for subscribing my channel at first place. And this is a small announcement on the new AWS batch which I'm planning to start from 9th of October. And it's going to start at morning 8.30 a.m. IST to till 10 a.m. IST. It's going to be one and a half hour session. So you guys can use the demo link over here mentioned. You can directly join the Zoom link which is mentioned here on the demo day on 9th October and attend a few demos for free. So we'll come back to the course content and uh, I'll share the course content later. So let me share a couple of more details. Okay, so it is going to be two months course, Monday to Saturday, right? Roughly, I need uh, 40 to 45 sessions to cover the whole uh, program, right? And the prerequisites, as I mentioned here, Windows or Linux administration, or let's say VMware uh, traditional virtualization experience will be in value add, right? And any other cloud experience like Azure or AWS, sorry, Azure or GCP is also in value add to this program, right? So uh, fee, as I mentioned over here, so it's going to be 15,000 if you go for installments and you have another option, 13,000 if you go with the single payment option. So if you have any questions, you can drop me a note or you can ping me on WhatsApp or you can call me on this number for any sort of questions or queries. I've created a small group for people who would like to enroll for this program you can simply join by clicking this link into the whatsapp group and also i've mentioned few demo videos over here so you can go to uh, uh, my channel and under videos you'll find a lot of uh, aws demo videos that are available you can take a look right so let me quickly share the course content as well so this course content i'll try to cover off the sysops engineer and the architect associate so both the programs i'll try to cover within the uh, one single training program right and uh, we'll we'll start with the cloud basics Right, and we'll understand the network standpoint, what is VPC, and then a NAT gateway, and security groups, firewalls, and VPN connectivities, and all those things we will try to cover off within the networking section. <clears throat> then we talk about EC2 computing, then high availability solution designing using load balancer or application load balancer or Route 53 and so on, so forth, right? And also we talk about auto scaling right so how how we can auto scale your environment okay within the aws that we will see then we will talk about managing your existing aws infrastructure using systems manager how you can do that that we will discuss over here then we'll talk about s3 storage okay so the past storage available in aws how we will manage this right that we will discuss then we'll go to the AWS databases, when I say AWS databases, it's going to be past databases, okay? So RDS, then your Dynamo or Redshift, right? And so on, other databases, how you can use it, that we will discuss over here, <clears throat> including over on in-memory database called Elastic Cache and stuff. And when it comes to monitoring and reporting, you have various services that are available in order to monitor and report the various issues across the cloud. So one is CloudWatch, another one is Cloud Config and guard duty right and then trusted advisor service catalog license manager health check personal health check dashboards so so many components are there we'll see one by one how we can use them and uh, get the uh, proactive alerts for your environment right and then we will focus on security when it comes to security we'll focus on identity management right so uh, when I say identity management, security sector, what I'm talking about is, right? So then we'll talk about role-based access control, AD integration, then you have uh, cognitive services, KMS, right? And then your web application firewall, certificate manager, okay? And then uh, what else I have? I think CloudFront, okay? And then uh, securing the websites with the https okay how you can use the kms and then renew the certificates and stuff that we will see and point of or in the in the area of security and we will try to discuss these points under security <clears throat> then we focus on microservices when i say microservices we'll talk about container services right and we, we talk about docker we talk about ecs cluster okay and then uh, how you can create a elastic container registry and pull the images from the elastic container registry and deploy into your ECS cluster, right? And how you can manage your uh, EKS cluster, right? Within the 
AWS that we focus and we'll discuss here on the microservices world. Then uh, we'll talk about migration services. So let's say, for example, if customer has the on-premise infrastructure where customer is running with traditional physical servers, virtual servers and stuff, and how you will assess and migrate the environment from on-premise to AWS and how you will consolidate them into our, our respective location and uh, bring the applications up and running okay so using various services how you can do that that we will discuss in the migration services then after that we'll talk about developer tools when i say developer tools right aws code build code commit right and uh, code deploy these are the three cacd tools which are available right so the CACD components which are available I would say not uh, tools right so how you can use them and deploy uh, your application uh, code using these components that we will focus here then we'll talk about automation when it comes to automation you have various various components one is infrastructure as a code using cloud formation and also using Terraform, how we can do that, that we will focus here, okay? And once that is done, we'll talk about as an admin, what kind of day-to-day -day activities that you perform, as an architect, what kind of day-to-day -day activities that you perform, how your AWS role looks like, what kind of, uh, uh, what I'll say, growth that you expect, right, in terms of uh, uh, technical, in terms of, uh, what I'll say, um, financial growth, and so forth, that we will discuss at the end. And then we'll see how you can apply for a job, what sort of certifications that you can appear for, and how you can prepare for your interview, right? So what things that you need to keep in your CV, that we will discuss at the end. So this whole program will take approximately two to two and a half months, roughly 45 days, I would say, Monday to Saturday from 9th October morning, 8.30 to 10 o'clock, right? So thanks for your time, and I'll see you on the demo day. Thank you, guys.